Hey guys, before we go any further, let me warn you, there is a bit of vulgar language in this video because we're going to be playing a few snippets from Kid Rock's latest song and it does contain some profanity, so you have been warned. Now this new song is called We The People. It's trending on social media, getting lots of people upset because that's what Kid Rock does when he releases a song. He upsets people, he pricks the public conscience. Whether you like him, agree with him or not, that's just what he does. And this song is no exception. In fact, this song is really quite... It does push the envelope quite far here because he's... He's, the song is kind of an anti-Fauci song, it's an anti-Biden song, it's an anti-you-know-what jab song. It's kind of everything in one song, and he doesn't hold back. It's, you know what, to some points of the song I agreed with, some of it I didn't. But I kind of thought, you know, people on social media saying, oh, it's terrible music, it's this and that. It's not terrible music, they're just offended by the message, and... They're entitled to be offended. That's the whole point of the song. He starts off the song by saying, I have a right to say F you to you if I want to. And, you know, that's democracy. But he does open the song with quite a strong lyric, saying that, you know, you know, telling people, you know, wear your face masks, take your pills, now a whole generation is mentally ill. Wear your mask, take your pills, now a whole generation's mentally ill! I, I don't kind of agree with that. I don't think everyone's going to be mentally ill from taking certain jabs to help them get over a certain disease. But then in the chorus of the song, he's got Let's Go Brandon singing in the background. And he's quite vocal about how he feels about, you know, Facebook, Fuck Facebook. Twitter, Fuck Twitter too. and mainstream media. And the mainstream media Fuck you too. And look, I'm not gonna argue with him on those points because he's basically just saying the internet, which has produced social media, is not that great. And there are times, certainly, when I do agree with that sentiment. You know, you don't have to be Republican or Democrat to agree that the internet sometimes does a lot of harm. And social media especially does a lot of harm. And sometimes I do wonder whether we'd just be better off without it altogether. But listen, go listen to the song for yourself. I think... <laughs> I mean, it just made me laugh, right? And he is trying to say in his song that we just need love and unity to bring us together, which is a bit of a cop-out, because I'm not really sure there's much love in his song in that sense. But it certainly made me laugh. It certainly does make you think a little bit. It does make you angry if you completely oppose what he's trying to say, which is fine. And that's the whole point. This is the point, guys. It's okay to disagree with people. We don't need to get upset about the fact that someone says something we disagree with. And we don't need to form a witch hunt against those who say things we disagree with just because they don't share the same opinion as us. I think that's important to bear that in mind. There you go, have a listen, go to Kid Rock's channel and uh, see what you think of it. I would put the whole song here but I'll just be done for copyright. Thanks for watching guys, bye.